Hello, this is Brian Casey of The Imaging Wire. We are here at RSNA 2023, and we are here with Franco Fontana and Stephen Gibbs of SAOTE. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us today. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. So SAOTE makes a wide range of imaging equipment, but today we're going to be talking about MRI technology and specifically a couple scanners that you have here that uh, are, are a little bit different from what you know most folks are used to. Uh, can you talk a little bit about some of the technology that you're showing here and what some of the challenges that it addresses are. Yeah, uh, we, we are actually experiencing a very good uh, uh, growth with our MRI system. We are uh, pushing on our technology and our innovation, which is based uh, on open MRI. We strongly believe uh, this is the right approach to push on the market because uh, they deliver a, a wide range of benefits to uh, the imaging centers and to the patient as well. Uh, just count uh, uh, a number of uh, uh, really good benefits that we can uh, deliver to this. The first thing is that our MRI system, uh, based on uh, the open uh, approach, are very comfortable to, to the patient. First one, because open is much easier for the patient to, to take the examination. And uh, uh, we know uh, in the recent years there has been a high growing incidence of claustrophobia. So patient finds very much comfort uh, out of this. Second, uh, which is a uh, really great benefit, uh, is overall sustainability of all uh, uh, the solution that we can uh, offer to that. Uh, our system has very low consumption of energy compared to other systems, and uh, no cryogens, no uh, liquid, which is another great benefit. The sighting uh, as well uh, is uh, very convenient because uh, the space that you need for this kind of technology is very limited. So we are now launching uh, our new generation open magnets. We have a new system which is called SCAN Open, which is following uh, our tradition of uh, open MRI and dedicated MRI. And this is uh, already available on the US market. And so we've got a system right here behind us that it reflects the open design that you, you talked about, and the new systems are all also have that open design as well, correct? Yeah, exactly. The new systems come, uh, uh, which is the SSCAN open, comes uh, with a completely renewed uh, platform, both in hardware and software, uh, based on uh, uh, the experience that we have had uh, with the, the largest one that you find in our back, which is a 0 0.4 uh, Tesla and uh, very, very good image quality and very good uh, sustainability for the customer. Uh, Stephen, can you speak to some of the advantages to some of these, the more open design of the scanners and some of the technologies that SAOT is showing here? Sure, so uh, Brian, we, we're seeing challenges with sighting in the industry. We're seeing real estate constraints. We're seeing energy consumption costs going up. We're seeing access to helium being an issue. And so the design of the magnets have a smaller footprint. They have access to lower energy consumption. It means that we can put MRIs into locations where you take the MRI to the patient, not the patient to the MRI. And so where there's a backlog issue with patients getting scanned, we can start to look at doing dedicated imaging in certain settings so those patients get better access to the MRI quicker. Even within the US marketplace, we still see 25% of MRIs are scanned in the MSK and spine arena these systems address that. That means that we can move our patients into dedicated MRI imaging and free up on the high technology, high field units to address cases like cardiac oncology and neuro, which is where the market demand is and the patient demand is happening. So we feel we can bring imaging to patients much more cost effectively, sustainably, and uh, more easy for the patient to access to. Now the, the, the model in the US at least has been, you know, these big donut hole scanners, 1.53 and 7 Tesla, but it seems like the last few years we've actually seen a move toward more low field open MRI systems. Why do you think that is? The, uh, the advent of computing power, the advent of processing and reconstruction means that with the lower field where we sometimes see that we need more signal, we can use the computing power that we have in the systems now to improve image quality. And added to that with the uh, access to patients, uh, the systems can be sighted and installed much easier 
faster and more cost effectively. So we're exploring with our dedicated O-Scan extremity scanner, looking at how we have dedicated installations either into mobile settings, modular buildings, even into different locations in, in clinics. So we can bring that access to patients and to do that. But that combination of computing power, the combination of uh, imaging demands, means that the, there is a shift in the industry away from those uh, high ticket items from the high field units. And it comes back to right technology for right clinical area in the right setting for the right patient needs. And so that industry shift is starting to move that, not just from SOTE, but into other vendors that are bringing dedicated units to the marketplace. Yeah, one of the, the things that I've really been seeing here at RSNA 2023 are the number of, of software developers that are developing reconstruction software. Sometimes it's powered by AI to take lower field images and make it look like a high field scanner. So that's been really interesting too. Cool. Well, gentlemen, any closing thoughts? No, I think, I mean, we are pursuing our strategy with the strongness of the result that we have had so far. We have had incredibly uh, good success with the introduction of our innovation into the market uh, in these recent years and the new system which are coming, just a confirmation of our strategy. All right, very good. Franco Fontana, Stephen Gibbs, thanks for being with us. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Signing off for the Imaging Wire, my name is Brian Casey.